Good morning, Modern Steaders. In this morning's video, we're gonna make an automatic chicken feeder out of a five gallon bucket and a 90 degree elbow. That's gonna fit perfectly for our seat bracket that we made on the Modern Steader. $30 chicken coop built in 30 minutes. Here's what we're gonna need to get started. You're gonna need a five gallon pail, a lid, a three inch 90 degree PVC elbow, some kind of tape, we're using packing tape, a drill, a 3 16 inch drill bit, a cup of coffee. You might not need a cup of coffee, but I'm gonna need a cup of coffee. So if you want a coffee, bring it along. You'll need a tape measure, a shoppie, a razor knife, a file, two pop rivets, and a three and a half inch hole saw bit. And if you'd like written directions to follow along with, I'm gonna leave a link down below and put a link here to our website. We're gonna have a blog post on building this with written directions. So at this point, you should have already built in your $30 chicken coop in 30 minutes. If you haven't built that yet, I'll leave a link here and in the description down below. You should have already built the accessories for the chicken coop, which is the tarp, the two corner seats, one for the feeder, one for the automatic waterer. We already made the waterer. And the rear ski for dragging. First, we gotta cut our 90 degree PVC pipe in half. Now that we have our PVC pipe cut in half, we're gonna take the two pieces and set them aside. We're gonna grab our bucket. We need to mark four inches up. And if you have a tractor supply bucket, the video is not sponsored by Tractor Supply. It's just the cheapest BPA food grade bucket I can find to put all of our chickens' feed and water in. If you have one, the four inch mark is right at the bottom of their envelope. Now we want to have our holes six inches apart from each other. If you have a tractor supply bucket, you can mark in an inch on each edge. And that'll give you six inches apart. For this next step, you're gonna need your drill and your three and a half inch hole saw bit. You're gonna place your drill bit on your mark. We need to save our cutouts. We're gonna need them in another step. Now that the first hole is drilled out, we need to drill the second one. You wanna make sure to save your slugs. Now depending on your fitting and your hole saw bit, you might have to take your file and just file the top and the bottom a little bit. I don't need to, mine fits in snug but I'm able to twist it in place and get it. I'm gonna temporarily install both of my fittings. I wanna make sure they're both pointing down. Now you wanna take your shoppie and on the center ridge, mark right close tight up against the bucket. We're gonna take out our fittings. Let's see if I can show you on camera. There is a center line right here from the mold. That's where you want to mark it. And we're going to drill a 3 16 hole on our black dot. Now we can drill our second one. Now this hole is for our pop rivet. You're not going to pop your pop rivet. You're just going to set it in there to hold your fitting in place. Clean out your bucket, make sure you get all of your little plastic filings out. We don't want our chickens eating that. Now we need to take the rivet with a pair of pliers and flatten off one side. When you're done, the rivet should look like this, with a flat spot. Remember I said you're gonna to need to save your slugs? Now we're gonna use them. And we're gonna cut a line. I'm gonna remove a quarter of each slug. So it looks like that. Do the same thing for our other slug. Yep. Use a piece of wood to cut on top of, so that way you're not cutting up whatever kind of work table you're working on. This part can go in the trash. 
I take our two fitting pieces, our two slugs, and our tape. We're using packing tape, that's what we have. Masking tape or duct tape would work also. Put the tape on the slug itself to start out. The reason for putting the slugs on is that way when these are installed, you can leave your bucket in place, pick it up, and your feed won't spill out of it. If you didn't have the slugs, if you're moving your coop, the feed would spill out of the bucket. With the slugs, it won't. Now we're going to install the ends. Take the rivets that you squished the edge on. Gonna hold our fitting in place and push the rivet in. I'm gonna repeat the process for the next side. There, you got your two rivets. You don't wanna glue them or anything. They're left this way so you can pull your rivet out, take out your fittings if you need to clean them. You can see in there you can see the slugs. So that way the grain will come down and push up, but if you tilt it forward, it's not gonna fall out because it's, it's holding back a lot of the pressure. Now right here, it looks too close to the ground. But let me show you. Once you install it on the seat brackets that we made in the modern Stetter $30 chicken coop for 30 bucks, it's the perfect height for the chickens to reach. Now when your chickens are still baby chicks, you're going to have to put another feeder in here that they can get to. And this is when they get bigger. That'll be perfect. We hope you enjoyed today's video of building the automatic feeder. If you missed any of the other videos, I'm going to put a link here and in the description down below for a playlist. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to our website where there's articles with written directions on how to build everything here for the modern Stetter $30 chicken coop built in 30 minutes with store bought material. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps the channel grow. We want to thank all the modern steaders for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.